What news do you bring? Out with it, lad. It seems Fort Sology has fallen, sir. And here I thought scorpions could sting. Who was it that did them in? A faction calling themselves the Liberation, from what I understand. Suppose there's no pulling the weeds of rebellion. Hmm? Sir Morden, may I have a word? You may have as many as you need. Just give us a moment, would you? Of course, my lord. Again, sir? Is that defiance I hear? It's none of your business, besides. To the matter at hand, though, I'd rather not have self-righteous fools raising the devil in my town. Alert the watch at once. If these pups come scratching at our gates, you're to see them repelled. Teach them the pain of war, if you must. Consider it done, sir. All roads are barred, Morden. You have no chance of escape. Seems my flagons run dry, then. Don't worry. I won't go weeping or begging you to live. I've not the stomach for it. You have me. Now, do with me as you please. Wait, good night, I beg you! Sir Morden isn't the blackguard you think he is. After the city was reduced to rubble, he was the one to rebuild it. And he's taken only the finest care of us in the time since. That's more than enough, lass. <sighs> Though, I won't deny, I enjoyed my years here. Now that you make mention of it, the heart of town does appear to be quite well taken care of. <sighs> another time, another life. And I'd have lived out my days as a humble stonemason. Can't say I did much here, besides a few trifling repairs, though. Please, my lords, see it in your heart to forgive Sir Morden his transgressions. I've no cause to cut down one who labored so valiantly for the sake of these people. My ears playing tricks on me? They are not. All I ask is that you continue to hold that dedication tight to your breast. I can manage that. Now the way I hear it, you Liberation folk are out to lay a new road for Cornea and her citizens. That's an ambition I'm burning to throw my weight behind, assuming you'll have me. We welcome any with the strength to take arms, but just to confirm, are you certain? More certain than my daily pitcher of mead. I'll make myself useful. You have my word. And you have my trust. When next you drink, let it be to new alliances.
Oh, fine piece of metal you've got there. Guessing you have some grand ideas for it, huh? So that's why you asked me here. You want to practice with a seasoned vet before you pop the big question. Sorry, I think there's been a mistake. Eh, suit yourself, but take it from me. You want to think long and hard about this. The decision will last you a lifetime. Oh, fine piece of metal you've got there. Guessing you have some grand ideas for it, huh? So that's why you asked me here. You want to practice with a seasoned vet before you pop the big question. I'd like you to have the Ring of the Maiden. Hey, you can't just spring it on them like that. You have to set the mood first. Make it real. Through all our time together, I've seen firsthand how compassionate you can be, how dedicated, and how selfless. Yeah, that's more like it. Keep going. As for why I've asked you here, I was hoping you would accept this ring. I, uh, what's with the stare? You've got to be kidding me. This is no joke. You're the one I've chosen, Morden. It's too early in the day for this kind of tripe. Tell me, kid, what's an old drunk like me gonna do with a pretty little ring like that? I can't deny that you love your liquor, but it's grown clear that you love your fellow man even more. So you see, it has to be you. Your strength alone will help me finally topple Galerius's reign of terror. You're a strange one. You know that? <laughs> I'd argue this is the only logical outcome. <sighs> Looks like you won't take no for an answer. Come on then, hand it over. I'm with you to the very end, kid. It's only right, after everything you've done for me. I can't thank you enough. Though be warned, I'll be relying on you even more from here forth. Father's name. His strength surpasses even Elenia's. The might of the unicorn runs deep in his veins. I'll show you might. Give him back, fiend! <laughs> Strike at this new body of mine if you dare. You'd simply be volunteering your own as my next vessel. The ring is mine to command, and a futile demise is all that awaits you now. No. Why must it end this way? <laughs> Finally realized, have you? Come on, keep it together. 
None can ever hope to halt my designs. I've had it up to here with you. This day is won by my hand, and the grandest of rights shall soon be upon us. Worry not. You'll make a fine Zenoiran vessel once it is. If my hammer's not fit for the job, then how? How do I get him back? Enough. Can't you see it's over? The ring? But why does it hold such vast energy? Almost forgot. I might not be a maiden, but I can damn well use her ring. But I guess I don't mind playing the hero for once. It will take more than this to defeat me! Keep fighting, kid! Tear yourself out of that bastard's clutches! Hilarious. You saw in Fevreth's innocent people mere vessels to house your own fallen empire. But as long as I live and breathe, you'll never inflict such callous devastation on our world. How do you know of that? Piteous ghost of an age long past. I shall grant your soul the freedom it desires. You will not! <laughs> Still itching for more, huh? My brethren were robbed of their corporeal flesh, left to wander in the void of nothingness for 800 years. Their pain is my strength, and my body, their fury given form, while the souls of Zenoira remain trapped in the beyond. Their emperor shall never die <laughs> defeat! Your majesty. Baltro! How goes the right? Flawlessly. We lack but a single soul to complete the spell. Then these insects shall be more than enough. Grant me your strength, and we'll stamp them out together. You just don't get it, do you? This wall's never breaking. What do you think you're doing? Apologies if I wasn't clear, Your Majesty. The last soul the Sigil seeks is none other than yours. Traitorous fool. Finally gone senile. Hmm. Is that you, Mother? Your Majesty. But how? Mother! It's a damn miracle. She's alive. Speak to me, please. Joseph, see my mother somewhere safe. And you, your highness? We end this long-drawn war, here and now. Yep. I'm not leaving till we give this lowlife what for. Come home, both of you.
What primitive evil should I reanimate next, I wonder? A monster capable of crushing Fevrith beneath its heel, perhaps? Enough with the empty threats. Your malevolence ends here. Spirits of Zenoira, hear my call. Your Emperor is no more. And in his place, a tyrannical fiend who craves nothing but absolute control. Tell me, is this what you truly desire? To sacrifice your very essence in service of this demon? Pathetic child. Souls of the Departed, if you've any humanity left within you, lend me your aid! is leaving me! You've ruined everything! A cursed fool! These souls are not a power one can wield, Baltro. They are human lives. Human will in its purest form. Impossible! The city's very nature has been recast! How is this happening? It appears we've arrived just in time. This isn't how my tale concludes. I won't allow it! The is king awaiting you, Ultra, is death's cold embrace. Wretched disciples! You dare turn on your master! The time has come, Ave. Let us lift the curse of the unicorn and bring the salvation of heaven to these lost souls! We'll pound him into dust! of time!